interference of light wave is done by a Young's double slit experiment. Eh? So this is the illustrations of Young's double slit experiments. Uh, from here we can see that uh, there is a monochromatic light source. If you still remember, when we discussed the fractions, eh, we, al we already learned that uh, monochromatic light means that uh, light with only one color or one frequency or one wavelength. Okay, so, uh, so we use a monochromatic light. In this case, we use a red light. The red light is directed through a slit. Okay, here label double slits. Uh, make, make some corrections here. Okay, so do some corrections here. This is not double slit. This is single slit. Single slit because there was that because there's only one slit. Okay, and this is double slit because we have two slits here. So the red light is directed towards a single slit. Okay. Now after it passes through the single slit, uh, it will spread due to diffractions. Eh? Okay. Due to diffractions, it will spread to a wider area. Okay. And uh, after it spread, it will uh, passes through this uh, two slits. Eh? Okay. And again, it undergoes the fraction and it spread again. Eh? Spread again. Okay. This one is spread again. It's spread again. Okay. At the place eh, where the light meet here, okay, at these regions, eh, okay, so at the place where the light meets with each other's uh, interference occurs. Okay. Superposition occurs, and uh, because the light is uh, coherence, eh, okay, because they are. Uh, they are coming from the same source, eh? so they are uh, coherence, and therefore they undergo uh, interference. Eh? Interference, and if we put a white screen here, then uh, this are the uh, this is the patterns that we observe. Okay, this is the patterns that can be observed on the screen. Eh? There are these uh, dark and bright fringes, alternate eh? alternate dark and bright fringes. Of course, eh, we know uh, the bright fringes is caused by the constructive interference eh, and the dark fringe or dark fringes is caused by the destructive interference. Eh. So this is uh, young double slits experiments. Eh. And this experiment is uh, done by Young. Okay, this is a scientist. Eh. Okay, this is a proof that light is a wave. So this is this experiment proved that light is wave because only wave can undergo interference. Other things cannot undergo interference. So uh, this experiment shows that uh, the light can undergo interference and therefore light must be wave. Okay. And again, uh, since it's uh, interference, so we can use this formula lambda equals to ax over d to find the wavelength. Okay. So this also the methods that we use to find the wavelength of light. So there are a few things that you need to know about this uh, experiment. Okay, first you need to know the requirement for these uh, experiments to be observable, eh? the, 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 the interference patterns to be observable. Uh, first, we, we need to use monochromatic light. Eh? Okay, and second, the size of the slit need to be very small. Uh, because the wavelength of a uh, light wave is very small. Okay, so if you want to see the diffractions of the wave, uh, because just now we learned that when the light wave passes through the slit, uh, it will undergo diffractions. Uh, and if we want diffractions to occur, the, the wavelength uh, must be uh, about the size of the slit. Uh, Okay, so therefore uh, the size of the slit must be very small because the wavelength is very small. And uh, third, the distance between the two slits, eh, it's the double slits, okay? The distance between these two slits must also be very small. Eh? It's about uh, half millimeters, 0 0.5 mm. Eh? Make sure that you remember this eh, because uh, this may be asked in your test or exam. Eh? Okay, what is meant by monochromatic light? I think this is easy. Okay, monochromatic light is light with only one color or one frequency or one wavelength. Okay, so that's monochromatic light. 
another things that you need to know is um, what are the factors that affect the distance between the fringes that affect x uh, okay how to make this x bigger or how to make this x smaller to answer the questions we refer to the formula of the patterns of interference uh, the formula lambda equals to ax over d uh, and therefore x equal to d lambda over a uh, okay so from these equations that uh, we learn that uh, x will increase uh, if d increase or uh, if the lambda increase or if a decrease uh, because um because x is directly proportional to d and lambda uh, inversely proportional to a yeah? so if we want to increase x we must increase d or increase lambda or reduce a yeah? so the distance between the fringes will increase if the light with longer wavelength is used eh? okay use the uh, light with longer wavelength or the two slits is closer okay two slit is closer means smaller a yeah? a is the distance between the two slits eh? okay so smaller a means that the slits are the slits are closer to each others, and the last one is that the distance between the double slit and the translucent screen is increased. So the distance between the slit and the screens is the d. Okay, so we must inc or, or we increase d. So to increase x, we either increase d or increase the wavelengths or reduce the distance between the two slits. Okay, comparing the single slit experiments with the double slit experiments. If you still remember, we discussed the single split experiments when we discussed uh, diffractions. Eh? Okay, so single slit experiment is used to investigate the diffractions of light, and double slit experiment is used to investigate the interference of light. So single slit experiments for diffractions of light and a double slit for interference of light, and this. Is the patterns okay this is the patterns uh, of uh, single slit experiments and this is a patterns of this uh, double slit experiments uh. for uh, interference of light uh, the distance between the fringes uh, are uniform okay the distance uh, are uniform but for uh, diffractions of light the the size of the fringes is not uniform and the distance between the fringes is also not uniform okay we, we have a very uh, bright light in the middles eh? okay uh, and also the big white fringe here but then uh, after that the fringes will become uh, smaller and smaller okay and the distance also not the same eh? uh, make sure that you know the difference because in exam they may uh, usually it's objective questions okay they, they may give you the few uh, similar fringes eh? and then they will ask you which one is the result of uh, single slit experiments and which one is the results of the double slit experiments okay so make sure that you know the difference between these uh, two patterns eh? okay so this is for uh, diffractions of light and this is for interference of light